Hi and welcome to Inbound Explain. My name is Shannon and in today's video, we're gonna review how you can make your newsletter in HubSpot. We'll review how you can add in each section, customize all of your areas, and get everything ready to send out your newsletter. Let's go ahead and get started. To get started with creating your newsletter within HubSpot, you first wanna to go to marketing, email and then it's going to take you to a page that looks just like this. Then from there you're going to go up to the corner and press uh, create email. If you have your business unit set up in HubSpot, all you have to do is just select the unit you want to work with, but if not, no worries, you're just going to get a pop-up that'll show you these three email options. Now when it comes to newsletters, we want to choose the regular email option. This is because uh, you don't want to choose automated because likely your newsletter is not going to go into a workflow. If your newsletter is a part of a workflow that you've already set up, then definitely go ahead and press automated. But in most cases, uh, you won't use your newsletter in a workflow. So let's go ahead and press on regular. And then from there, we have to choose our template. Now HubSpot makes it really, really easy. And they actually already have a whole newsletter template set up. But for the case... Uh, for the sake of just showing off the options that HubSpot has, let's just go ahead and choose the welcome email just so we can better showcase uh, how you can set up the email or how you can set up the newsletter a bit more customized according to what you need. So if you're familiar with HubSpot's email tool, then really this will be uh, pretty easy for you. Um, it works just like how any other email tool works within HubSpot. Um, but let's go ahead and review some of the options that you have when creating your newsletter. So the first thing that you should know is that everything in HubSpot's email tool is drag and drop. So you can add images, uh, you can add in videos, whatever you want to add. All you have to do is just grab it and drop it into the email, to the body of the email. From there, it's important to know that HubSpot's email tool works in sections. So if you can see, we have one this smaller box here where we've dragged in the image, but we also have this bigger box here. So everything that's contained in this bigger box is included in this section. So this means that I can move this whole section around and everything that's in that big box will go with it. So that's just um, important to keep in mind as you're working with the email tool especially when it comes to saving sections, which we'll talk about in just a bit. In the case of a newsletter, normally things that you want to include in a newsletter include things like news about your company, any, any new products that you guys have coming out. Typically, you want to include um, some recent blog articles if you post to your blog. And maybe you also want to include uh, resources uh, that you have on your website, like maybe an ebook or some sort of downloadable content. So I'll go ahead and show you how you can add in those things. Within HubSpot, um, you can add in different layouts. So let's go ahead and create our own layout here. Let's first start off by um, having a section with an image and some text underneath it. So we're gonna we're gonna start off a new section completely. And we can we know it's a new section because it has its own box here. So we'll go ahead and do that. If the two options here you have are content width, which means it'll stay within this white box, or full width, which means it'll go beyond the bounds of this white box that we have set up. In this case, we're just gonna go with content width. And now let's say I want to add in an image here. So I'm just going to drag the image until this little uh, gray box turns blue where it says drop, drop content here. And then from there, you can go ahead and select the image that you want to be uploaded. If you already have your images uploaded into HubSpot, then you can just go select the one that you want. If you don't, all you have to do is upload it from here. So let's go ahead and add some text underneath our image. In this case, it looks like we're just going to have one block of text, so we can go ahead and just drop, drop that underneath the image. From here, you can go ahead and edit it as you would um, in normally. This, the text tool here works just like how it does in HubSpot's blog tool or in the other email tools. Now, as you can see, because I dropped the image right underneath, or excuse me, because I dropped the text right underneath 
uh, the image, you can see that all of that content that we've created is already uh, in one section together. And this section is separate from the section above it. So let's say that this would be the main intro of the blog. We can go ahead and actually just delete this section so it makes a bit more sense. Now let's say we want to add in some information about our new blog post. So, and we, and we want the layout to look a little bit differently and we want it to exist in a new section. All we have to do is grab one of our layout tools. Let's say I want to have a small picture and a lot of text. We can choose that one third layout option. And then we have to choose what we want to be dropped in here. So let's go ahead and choose an image, which will drop right there. And again, you can go ahead and um, upload the images or select them. And let's drop in some text. Perfect. So let's say I want to have about three of these sections. Um, instead of having to choose the layout tool, drop, drag and drop it, drag and drop the image, and drag and drop the text again, all we have to do is actually we can either just clone this section, which it'll immediately clone it and paste it right underneath your previous section. Or if this is something that we're going to be doing pretty regularly between this newsletter and maybe any upcoming newsletters in the future, you can actually go ahead and save this section. And what this will allow you to do is it'll um, save this section within HubSpot so that you don't have to drag and drop again. All we have to do is just give it a name. Let's call this blog preview. And we just have to save it. And then in any future newsletters that we create or any other emails, all we have to do is just drag this section here, drop it, and now we have another save section. Oops, looks like I saved the wrong, the wrong, uh, or I grabbed the wrong saved section. So be careful about your naming. But uh, as you can see, it's just a, a helpful way to, to be able to grab that repeat content. So what else can we include in our newsletter? Well, with HubSpot, you have a lot of options. So you can include videos if, if you have any of those. Also, it's, it's uh, beneficial to include buttons. So let's say that this section is promoting a new ebook that we have. We can go ahead and add in a button. And you, here you have the option to customize the text. You have to add in the link that you want uh, the button to take your users to. But you have a lot of customization options. And yeah, that, that's pretty much uh, how it works to create a newsletter in HubSpot. Really, it's just kind of about coming into the tool, playing with it, seeing what's important to you. Um, after you're happy with, with whatever you've created, you can you still have a few more editing options. So let's say that we don't want this background to be gray. You can go over to Design and click on Template, and then you can change the, the color. So let's say that we want our color to be light blue. You can also go ahead and change the color of the body of the email. So let's go back to design and let's say we want it to be a darker blue. You can see that you can go ahead and change that. Let's change that back to white. You can also change the text styles. So these will be the automatic text styles that come in whenever you drag and drop the, the text. If you know what, um, what fonts you already want and the size, you can go ahead and set that up so that you don't have to customize it every time you drag and drop the text. So this is super useful for the future, especially if you go ahead and save that section. You can customize the look of your buttons and you can also customize the look of the dividers if you add in dividers into your into your newsletters, which would look like this, just little lines. So perfect. So obviously this isn't exactly a newsletter that we would want to be sending out, but just for the sake of example, let's go ahead into the settings section to see what else we can customize. So you can set the email that you want the, uh, excuse me, you can set the name that you want the email that you want the newsletter to be sent from. You can also add in a new name if you need to. You can add in the email that you want the, the newsletter to be sent from, and you can use a different email for the email that's sent and a different email for the email that users can reply to, which is a super useful function. 
Here you want to go ahead and set up the subject line. Remember, you always want your subject line to be engaging so that people will click into your newsletter. So we always recommend using emojis if appropriate and questions are also a good way to get people's attention. You can set up your preview text. So this is the text that will appear right after the subject line. This is another area where you want your text to be enticing and attractive so people will be more um, incentivized to click into your newsletter. You can go ahead and give your email a name. So let's call this the September Inbound Explained newsletter. You can set the language if you have your HubSpot in multiple languages or if you have content in multiple language. You can go ahead and set your subscription type. This will be based off of whatever you've set up previously within your HubSpot account. And finally, you can choose your office location. And if your newsletter is tied to any campaign, you can also select that below here. Finally, from there, you've done all the work, you've created your, your newsletter, you've done all your settings, and now it's time to send out your email. First thing you want to do is you want to select the list of recipients. So you can do this um, by uh, searching for your contacts individually, or it'll be a bit more convenient if you have already created a list. So let's just grab the first list that we see. There's zero recipients in, in this list here, but hopefully in your newsletter, you'll have a few more than that. If there's any contacts that you don't want the newsletter to go to, you can also select that here. Again, you can do this um, by an individual basis, contact by contact, or you can um, go ahead and create a list of do not send, and you can go select that list there as well. You also have the option to not send your newsletter to unengaged contacts as well. Finally, from there, you have the option to send the email right away, or you can schedule the email to be sent later. The really nice thing about this tool is that you can actually tell HubSpot to send the email based off of um, the recipient's time zone, which means if you have contacts that are in different time, different areas of the world with different time zones, then they'll receive the newsletter based off of when it's 1242 for them uh, across, across the board, which is super useful. Then from there, once you have everything all set up, all you have to do is press review and schedule. In our case, our, our subject uh, isn't set, but uh, after you do this, if, if everything is good and you don't have any warning signs, after you do this, it'll um, go ahead and schedule your newsletter for you, and then you've done it. So I hope this video is helpful for you. Go ahead and take a look at um, the different options that HubSpot has within their templates area because this will be a great way to save a lot of time when creating your newsletter. And another, another great thing you can do is if you already have a newsletter that you're super happy with, you already have everything all set up, and you're not really interested in having to recreate your newsletter every single month, all you have to do is press clone. You can change the month or the name of the, the newsletter. So let's say this is our October newsletter now. And HubSpot will create a duplicate copy of that newsletter that you can then edit um, and customize for, for that month because this is a totally, new, a totally new email. So as you can see here, if we leave here, now we have our September newsletter and our October newsletter. So the clone, the clone feature is a really great way to be able to speed up your newsletter making process. Thanks for watching the video and following along on how to make your own newsletter. If you want to watch more HubSpot tutorials, go ahead and check out the playlist. If you want to see more videos about HubSpot tutorials or inbound marketing, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.